The elite start list I think this year is the strongest that we've had here by far and that's really good for the event and it's good for the sport. There's some really good girls here, you got, you know, Peter Mullins, Renata, all world class mount bikers. And of course Zoe Cuthbert, young Canberran who won it last year. It'll be interesting as the weekend goes just to see how the different stages filter different different riders with different abilities. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The whole history and the man from the snowy river I love and he comes down and like this morning with the, with the horse. Stage one was a hard and fast start to the weekend. The wind was in our face the whole way. Different set of trails and yeah, beautiful views overlooking the lake there. There was a small like intermission. Second half was a mass start and I kind of like the hecticness of mass start. It's just the whole valley and the snowy mountains, it has so much history. The trails are fast and flowy and sort of the vibe's just really cool, so I'll come back in that lot. In first place for the females for stage one, Peter Mullen for the male elite category, Cameron Ivory. Stage number two of six here for our three-day Snowy's Mountain Bike Festival. Stage two was a bit different. Um, you raced in the hail. The variable weather, so it started dry, then it rained and I got some uh, hail in the middle of the lap as well. So it's like rain, hail, shine, all in five and a half kilometers. I mean, that's what's great if something does go wrong. You can still keep on racing hard in the other stages and, yeah, still have a great weekend. It's really greasy, very slippery over the rocks, but it's different. It's good fun. To do the, the time trial and manage to earn that leader's jersey for the next stage is, um, yeah, it's awesome. The third stage was the climb up the Threadbow Valley Trail, up to Threadbow. I think it's about 20 kilometres, gaining just over 500 metres elevation. So it started off with a pretty exciting mass start. Yeah, I think snow is really unique in the, the, the scenery that you're racing in. There's other stage races in Australia, but there's, there's not that many that are set in such an iconic location. You're in the mountains, like the mountains are fantastic. You've got the rivers next to the tracks and the mountain biking infrastructure here in the snowies is fantastic. I let out from the gun. Eventually I got a little bit of a gap and then three of my teammates chased over to me and it was just us four for most of the stage. They took the line on us at the end. I was fourth. That stayed in the in the yellow jersey. Christy, who's the girl in front, like a few k's from the end, and after a lot of pain, <laughs> I managed to get past her and just in front of her at the finish. <laughs> Just before the fourth stage, the weather started coming in. It was super windy, super cold. Uh, we all caught the chairlift up, ready for the all-mountain descent. So stage four, five is a combined descent. So the first bit is full downhill. That's awesome fun. And I loved it, it was so fast. I told myself to take it easy, but I definitely didn't. I just went full gas from the top. As we crossed over a timing mat at the bottom, that was the end of stage four, but the start of stage five. The second ascent's kind of like half all mountain and then half pretty much cross country again. Kept going flat out all the way back down the 20 kilometer Threadbow Valley Trail, back down to Lake Crackenbury. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first across the line, Cameron Ivory hits the finish. Well done, Cameron. Here's our first female making her way up the hill now, Peter Mullins. I actually quite enjoy Sunday stage, it's probably my, my favourite one. I 
think it kind of brings me back to my roots of mountain biking when I used to do, you know, the three and six hours in Victoria that we have where we just do laps and laps of the same course all day. And you got to remember, ride boldly and never fear the spill. Riders to the ready. Three, two, one. couple of elite riders though who are making their trip home here. John Odom is our first finisher here. Our first female finisher, welcome her in, Zoe Cuthbert, wearing the race leader's jersey, Peter Mullen. Peter Mullins finishes here in top spot. Mullins, Cuthbert, Henderson, Cameron Ivory, Matthew Dinham, and Russell Men Curvis. To have my two teammates on the, the final podium by my side is awesome. I'm super stoked to take out the 2019 Snowy's Mountain Bike Festival at Lake Krakenbach. <laughs>